And leaders in the city of Milwaukee are also calling on state officials to lend a hand. The Office of Violence Prevention says we are now in a state of emergency with 22 homicides so far this month. The CBS 58's Winnie Dorch is in the newsroom with reaction from city officials. Jessup Natalie, 22 murders so far this year compared to eight in 2021 during the same time frame, an alarming increase. Local leaders say enough is enough. Three law enforcement officers shot and injured. How am I going to recruit? How is the chief of police going to recruit? How is the Fire and Police Commission going to recruit? Uh, individuals to take up the profession of protecting and serving our community when we see law enforcement officers being shot in the street. Six people found dead on Milwaukee's north side. An eight-year-old girl shot and killed, and it's only January. It's totally unacceptable, and we need it to change. We're absolutely in a state of emergency. I don't know what situation would need to happen for this not to be a state of emergency. We have too many people that are being um, shot both fatally and not fatally too many children that are being shot accidentally or getting a hold of a firearm. And so we have to really address this both as a public health issue, understanding that violence is a disease. It is transmittable, but it also can it also can be treated and prevented. Mayor Cavalier Johnson says now is the time for state leaders to step in. There are too many guns in this community and those guns are too easily accessible to people who shouldn't have them in the first place. And that's gonna take a collaborative effort from all of us uh, to make sure that that does not happen, including working collaboratively with our partners in state government. We really need them in this. Violent crime is all too familiar in the black community, causing some residents to feel numb and uninspired to take back their city. Director of the Office of Violence Prevention, Arnita Holloman, says lack of resources is to blame. We have to deal with the root causes and the root issues. When you have communities that are um, um, disempowered, that where you see poor access to um, quality education, health care, um, where you have food deserts, um, where it, in terms of environmental design, it is not a place that is conducive to, you know, really um, healing or wellness or thriving. We have to consider that all of those things make a difference. But there's no one solution to decrease violence. There are a lot of moving parts that involve several agencies. It has to be a multi-pronged approach, and a part of that approach is prevention. Of course, there is the law enforcement side, the criminal justice system side, but when we put the adequate focus on prevention and prevention is adequately resourced and um, to the capacity that it should be, I think we will see some more significant change. If you want to get more involved, Holloman says stay connected with your aldermen. Reach out to organizations that are on the ground doing the work. And if you see something, say something. Change starts with you. In the newsroom, Winnie Dorch, CBS 58 News.